Previously on Silver Sun. Hey, did you run the program on me? Yes. And which lucky girl gets to call Shang Mr. Perfect? Me. Yeah, right. Now, who is it really? Me. I'm your most compatible partner and you're mine. I'm not like you. I'm not built like you. I can't let my emotions take over. But you're human. Humans make mistakes. That's where you're wrong, Sheng. I'm more than human. Look at me. I don't make mistakes. And clearly, I can't have relationships. I'm really sorry, Sheng. Ah, Pancha. Steve, the computer's all yours. I'm not going back online. Ever. Star Runner leaves on its 90 year journey to the new world. On board, an elite young crew and 550 settlers frozen in suspended animation. Maintenance duties was a spectator sport. Yeah, well, they are when one of the best minds on the ship is absorbed in them. I'm not absorbed. That's the point. I can clean these and think about whatever I want. Like what? Uh, you see, you're wasting your brain. It's your gift. Well, maybe I have other gifts I don't know about yet. When I was constantly patched into the computer, I didn't have a chance to think about anything else. I just want to see what's out there. Or in here. And what if you don't find anything? Then there's nothing wrong with maintenance. It's just as important as every other job around here. Wait. No, it's not calibrating. Why don't you just ask Pancha for help? She said she doesn't want to go anywhere near the computer. But she set this whole thing up to her specifications. It's her fault we can't make anything work. I can't order her. She's resigned as computer officer. I give up. My screen keeps freezing. And she had this code that double-checked all coordinates. It doesn't seem to be working. I think she used a bug scanning program. Yeah, it sorted out glitches automatically. Well, do you know where she stored it? No. I thought we could handle her job between all of us. It can't be that hard. Let me have a look. This is exactly what I needed. Just some time to lie around and do absolutely nothing. Yeah, well, now that Pant is doing half my jobs for me, I can do this all day. I wish. But I have to get back to work soon. Maybe Tane will quit being a pilot and take over the whole thing. Yeah, and maybe Syriax will make us the captains of the ship and bring us chocolate bars and lemonade. <sighs> Dee, did you see that? What did you press? I don't know. Isn't there an undo button? I've got critical malfunction guidance systems. Can't you take it back three steps and just I find out? I didn't do anything. It's got to be a computer error. Engine heading for failure. We're going to have to shut the whole thing down. How did you do that? Simple override function. Someone must have pressed the emergency control indicator. There was nothing actually wrong. Engines are reporting 100% operational. Same with guidance systems. I didn't know you were a computer whiz, Andy. We got taught a few things at the Academy. In a crisis, you have to know how to do everything. Looks like you're our new computer officer. Me? But I only just came in to tell you there was static in the D room. You just prove you can do the job. You saved the day. We need you. It's up to you, Sandy. OK. <laughs> sure, I'll do it. Sheng! Danger. Have you got a minute? Sure. 
There's something I want to show you. Okay. I didn't know you played the trumpet. Oboe. Oboe. I was thinking about our conversation and I decided what I wanted to do. I played a little back on Earth and I really loved it, but with all my responsibilities on Star Runner, I haven't had a chance to practice. I want you to tell me what you think. Well, I don't know much about music. <laughs> you don't need to, it's not science. There's no one right way to play. You need to know what you like. I do know what I like. I wanted, I wanted you to be the first to hear. <laughs> I'm probably a bit rusty, but here goes. Don't be silly, Panch. I'm sure you'll be fine. What a shocker. That's awful. Can't you get out of it? I don't know. It could be OK, I think. Computer officer's Andy. Sounds all right. You on the bridge. With Syrax and Steve. Well, I know we don't always agree. What's next? Are you going to dump me for Tane? <laughs> no chance. I'm not joining them. I'm more seeing how the other side operates. Right. You should have seen the way they looked at me when I fixed the computer. Like I was a genius or something. And Tane and Steve said I saved the day. Can you believe it? Of course I believe it. You can do anything. So you're happy for me? Absolutely. Good. Because I'm due back on the bridge, so I can't have lunch with you. Sorry. That was... <sighs> wow, I'd forgotten what it was like to play. It was like my mind left my body. Lucky you. Hmm? Lucky you have this talent. I'm totally tone deaf. But you liked it. Liked isn't the word. <sighs> Pancha, I loved it. It was fantastic. You're not just saying that? No way. I don't know how to thank you. You don't need to. Well, I never would have thought of playing the oboe if it weren't for you. I made you play the oboe. Wow. Look, do you want to have dinner with me tonight? What, you mean just me and you alone? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I know another piece. Do you want to hear it? Yes. All systems clear. I've fixed the code for the D room so there shouldn't be any more static. Good work, Sandy. Karen, Steve, you're overdue for a break, aren't you? Oh, we don't mind sticking around, just in case. I think Sandy's got it under control. Yes, Commander. We are due for a small course correction if you're up to it. No problem. So what's the big occasion? Thank you for the flowers. They're exactly what I wanted. Not until you tell me what you're up to. A romantic dinner for me and Pancha. All her idea. Really? When did this happen? In the gym. Before. She asked and I said yes. That's great, Sheng. I never thought you two would get it together. Yeah. Yeah, I guess music's really opened her heart. You mean the oboe music? You've heard it. I overheard her practicing this morning in the dorm. Is it just me or is she bad? Well, you know, it's not... Well, it's not... No! It's not! It's not! It's not good. It's so bad! Bad, I know. She asked me what I thought before. I couldn't tell her the truth. She'd never go out with me if I told her she sounded like an elephant in labour. You think she'll still go out with you when she finds out you lied to her? I'm not lying, I'm just... You're lying. I'm exaggerating. And, you know, maybe she'll get better. Hmm. Maybe. Look, she's happy. She's having dinner with me. She's only playing in front of me. No one else has to hear it. This is all good. Trust me. If you say so. Absolutely. She's not going to play in front of anyone else. I've got the start deck all ready for dinner tonight. We're going to have flowers. We're going to have a recital. I had the idea when I was playing for you. You seemed to enjoy it so much. I thought, why not share the music with everyone? Share, share, share. And then we can have dinner afterwards. I've got to decide on my program. I'll see you later. It's going to be the perfect night. Perfect. 
Not. Heading corrected to 0 0.3 degrees. Thrusters at minimum burn. And we're on course. Good work. Not as fast as Pancha, but not bad. Thanks. You two can take a break. I'll watch the bridge. Sounds good to me. I don't mind staying. You don't have to. I'm just getting used to all of this. In that case, spot of fishing. I'll be fine here. Computer officer Zandy. Good work. Thank you. Commander Zandy. Hmm. Come in, caller. I can only just hear you. Star runner to unidentified caller. Come in, please. I'm reading your ranges less than three light minutes. Can you hear me? Caller, please identify. Come back. Where are you? Believe it. It was a signal from another ship, I'm sure of it. There are no other Earth ships this far out in space, you know that. Well, maybe it wasn't an Earth ship then. Are you sure it wasn't just an echo from our own navigation beacon? I mean, you haven't been on the bridge that long. You could have gotten confused. I know what I heard. When we hear the recording, we can clear all this up. Recording? We'll analyse the sound. I was so excited, I just wanted to get in contact. You didn't record it. Great. I forgot. And there was no reply when you tried hailing the source of the signal. It was fading out quickly. Maybe they couldn't hear me. Maybe there was no signal. I don't know. If you hear the sound again, record it. Until that happens, there's nothing more we can do. Yes, Commander. I love you, Pancha could play the oboe. It's exactly what we need around here. Bit of culture. I want to play something too. Can I learn the drums? No. Um, I don't think so, Tycho. No drum kit on board. Sorry. Oh! So you're all coming to the concert tonight then? You bet. Can't wait. Wouldn't miss it. Absolutely. Good, good. It's just, you know, Pancha's is a little bit nervous and she hasn't played in a while, so... Well, we're not expecting Mozart. Good. Yeah, but, um... No matter how she plays tonight, applaud. Say she's fantastic. That would mean a lot. Of course we will. How bad could she be anyway? You haven't told Panther the truth yet, have you? I haven't really had the chance. Sheng! Look, I don't want to ruin things. She finally wants to be my girlfriend. Just make sure you don't lose her as a friend. <sighs> Thanks for doing this, Karen. I really don't think it's going to help. There's absolutely no record of anything that could have sent that signal. Can you double check? I've had data miners doing a dozen similar queries, but it's definitive. The nearest ship is almost half a light year behind us. We're well and truly alone out here. But I can try checking again. No, it's OK. I'm sure Tane and the commander were right. I must look like an idiot. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing a great job on the bridge. Yeah, it was just a mistake. But what if you're right and there's actually something out there? Well, Karen Tane and Syriac said there isn't. Since when did you listen to them over your own instincts? Well, I've got no proof. It's never stopped you before. Well, maybe it should have. <sighs> what? Nothing. Well, what do you want me to do? The Zandy I remember before she became a computer officer would have stuck by what she heard. Yeah? And where did that get me? Attention all crew attending Pancha's oboe recital. The show will begin in 20 minutes. Are you gonna go? The oboe? I don't think so. I'm heading back to the bridge. You know, you can still call it off. No one will blame you. Why would I want to do that? 
Oh, you look nervous. I'm not nervous. And there's no need to be nervous. They're all your friends. And I'm not nervous. Good. Do you want anything like water or something? Stop it, Shane. What? You're making me tense. T tense? You cannot go on if you are tense. I want to go on. It's fine. This is really sweet of you. It is? You're nervous for me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. You've helped me so much. Panja, before you go on, there's something I've been meaning to say. Tell me after. That's my cue. I wonder how the concert's going. You can go if you want. Things are pretty quiet here. No. You go. No, thanks. Oboe is really not my thing. Yeah, I know. If she was playing guitar or something, then... That's it! That's the transmission I heard! And this time I'm pressing record. It doesn't sound like an echo. And it's definitely not random. I'm calling the commander. Commander Syriax. Are you gonna hail them in? Let's find out what it is first. Commander Syriax, come in, please. There's no answer. His bid must be turned off for the concert. We can interrupt over the ASCO. No, I'll go and get him. Just don't lose the signal. on this next one. <laughs> Tane said it wasn't an echo. It was definitely a distress signal or a navigational beacon. Tane? Well, whatever it was, it faded out fast after a few seconds. We can still analyse the recording. Well? I, I don't understand. Are you sure you recorded it properly? I pressed the button. Something must have happened. Did you touch it after I left? No. I was too busy trying to locate the source. What did you think it was? There was definitely a brief signal. But we get phantom transmissions all the time. I mean, they're usually quasar activity or echoes of our own navigational ping. But it could have been anything. But you said it was definitely not random. Maybe. I just wish we had a recording. Well, there's nothing I can do till I hear the signal for myself. Keep the communications open and check the record function. Make sure there's no glitches. Yes, Commander. Finished already. Don't tell me you wanted more. She was really, really bad. Holy Kamali. I didn't think she'd be good, but I didn't think she'd be that bad. And this is what you left the bridge for. Now remember what Sheng said. We don't want Pancha to feel bad about herself. So let's just be positive next time we see her. You lied to me. What? You made me look like a complete idiot in front of everybody. I... Do you have any idea how humiliated I feel? I 
I was just trying to help. You seem so different when you were playing. Happier, and you... You liked me. So, you said I was good, so I'd be your girlfriend. I'm sorry. Everyone thought I was awful up there. They were all just feeling sorry for me when they clapped. How can I ever face anybody again? They're your friends. They respect you, that's why they applaud it. But because I'm a good musician. No, you're not. But you're a talented computer officer. You're one of the smartest people I know. And you're the girl... You're the girl that I like. A lot. Really? You're right. I am? Absolutely. I've been completely blind. Everything I've wanted's been right in front of me the whole time. Oh, I am here. That's great. I'm so glad you feel that way. Me too. I just wish it hadn't taken me so long. It doesn't matter. You're here now and nothing can get in the way. Absolutely. You wanted to see me? Yes. Pancha has asked to be reinstated as computer officer. What? And I've agreed. So I'm ditched? Just like that? I'm really sorry, Sandy. It's all right. You changed your mind. One minute you want to be on the bridge, the next minute you don't. It doesn't matter who pays the price. This is not fair. I've worked really hard. No one is disputing that. But Pancha is computer officer designated by Earth Command. Plus, with a connection to the computer... Yeah, yeah, I get it. She's better than me. I'm not saying that. But listen, if we hear the signal again... You... Don't do me any favours. It's OK. I never thought you wanted to be the computer officer type anyway. I didn't. But once I got out there and they respected me, listened to what I had to say, I liked it. They didn't listen to you about the signal. Bet they would have listened to Pancha. Yeah. They have this image of us, and nothing we do is ever going to change that. We don't need them. Exactly. <laughs> Who was I kidding? Saying yes, Commander, no, Commander all day. It's totally not me. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say this, but I think I'm going to miss Sandy being here. At least there won't be any more of her phantom alien signals. I think I might go check out the donut situation in the D room. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. Sure. Yeah. Delta V six oh seven. Delta V six oh seven. This is Pegasus one to Pegasus two. Have received your signal. Awaiting further coded instructions. Over. Ready, Major. 